Colin here. In this video I'm just going to cover how to find websites or to find out if a website has an SSL certificate installed or not using Scrapebox. And so it's just a basic quick short video. So what I did was I just got some random websites. I just harvested some websites for the letter A. I cut it off early. This is enough. So I'm going to remove duplicate domains. And once we have that done, we got 233 unique domains because generally an SSL certificate is installed on the domain itself, or at least that subsection of the domain. Um, I think actually the whole domain. And so basically we're just going to grab all these URLs. I'm going to copy them all to the clipboard and I'm going to pop open my favorite text editor, which happens to be Notepad. You could use whatever you're using on Mac um, or Windows, Notepad++, etc. Whatever works. We're just going to do a find replace, which happens to be Control H, where you can get to it under edit and then replace. And I'm going to replace all of the HTTP with HTTPS. So we're basically trying to force all these URLs to be HTTPS URLs. Now that we have them all as HTTPS URLs, I'm going to copy them, clear this out, put them right back in Scrapebox. We're going to go to the Alive Checker add-on. If you don't have it installed, go to Show Available Add-ons, find the Alive Checker, click Install Add-on. When it's done, go back to Add-ons and the Alive Checker. And once the Alive Checker comes up, what we're going to do is just grab the list of URLs from Scrapebox itself. Under setup, we need to go in here. The default setup, I think, has like 200, 301, and 302. The redirects could throw the whole thing off. They may work, and you're welcome to try them, um, but I was looking for a little bit more, you know, standardized method that's going to get more, less false positives, I guess. And so you can try those, but I removed them just so that I know it's a yes or no, pass or fail kind of thing. And so if you put them in there, you may get mixed results, but you can try it. So we're going to go here, 20 threads is fine, whatever, follow redirects is fine. Or actually, you do need follow redirects because we want to follow it all the way down to the end. Um, and then I'm just going to go ahead and st hit start here. And I'll let this run for a minute. I pause and pause the video. I did go ahead and throw my air retries for the video down to one. You may want to put this higher at like three, especially if you're having trouble with, um, you know, a slower internet connection or some websites happen to be slow on loading. You know, that might get you a little bit more accuracy. The higher the, you go, the more accuracy, but the higher you go, the slower it's going to be. You don't need to use proxies for this. I'll say that as well. You're just loading websites, and we only have one URL from each domain, remember, because we removed it. This just looks like a web browser to the end server, so no need for proxies. If you do use proxies, don't use, like, uh, public proxies. Use private proxies that are, you know, solid and working, and make sure you don't exceed the connections you're allowed there. Um, I wouldn't even personally use BackConnect proxies for this, not unless you use, like, if they have a server-based proxy, but not regular BackConnect proxies. So, um, but you don't even need proxies because it's just one URL from each domain, and it looks like you're loading it in a web page. And so, basically, all of the ones here that are no means that they're not alive for an HTTPS. So they're throwing an error saying, hey, there's no HTTPS here. So we're going to export the not alive ones. Now you can save this to a file and that's fine. I'm just going to save it right back to Scrapebox for the sake of this video. we got 29 URLs. Now we're going to grab these again, copy all URLs to clipboard, head back to Notepad, and I'm just going to clear out the ones we had there, paste in these new ones, and we're going to do another find replace and we're going to do the opposite. So HTTPS to HTTP and replace all. And I did, did that wrong. Replace all. And close out of that. So now we have just regular HTTP URLs. And then we're going to run them again. And the reason we're going to run them again, and so let's just do this while I talk. Put them back in here as HTTP. Go back to the live checker and pop them in here through the harvester reason we're going to run them again is because some websites may legitimately be dead and so they will fail on HTTPS and fail on HTTP. And so we want the ones that are failing on HTTPS but that work on HTTP. So they don't work on HTTPS because there's no certificate but they do work on HTTP because it's just a website. And so once that's done we're going to export all of the Alive records to Scrapebox. So this time we're keeping the Alive records. You can ex export them to file if you want, whatever. So we've got 15 here. So let's um, let's see if I can get all 15 to open up in a browser without crashing anything. I'm holding down Shift and clicking to highlight here. You could um, click each one and hold down Control, um, or I think it's Command on Mac, but I think Shift works too. So anyways, I'm going to pop them open here in the default browser. And yes, I want to open all 15 URLs. And I'll give this here a second to load. All right. Okay, and so it's still loading. 
Uh, but we can go through here and we can see the little, you know, non-secure website lock icon here. Just clicking through. Looks like all of these so far are don't have a certificate. And this one and this one don't have certificates. So we'll get rid of those. This one doesn't have a certificate. This one, this one, and this one. And so basically all 15 of these now do not have an SSL certificate on them. So that's the process. You can run through and try to find if a website does not have an SSL certificate on it. Why would you want to do this? Perhaps you sell SSL certificates. You're like an affiliate. Perhaps you or more likely you install them or your company does that as part of a process. And so you want to, you know, then contact all of these people and say, hey, um, would you like to buy this? Don't you know that SSL certificates are great and you need them and, you know, we'll install one for you for a fee? Or perhaps you have a greater plan and you're using it as a foot in the door to say, hey, you don't have an SSL certificate on your website. Um, if you sign up for our SEO services or our backup plans or whatever it is that you're selling, we'll install an SSL certificate on your site for free or five bucks or whatever. So you could use that as a lead magnet. You could use it to get in the door. Or if you just have a list of your own clients that you want to check to make sure that they're, you know, getting what they can do, you could use it for SEO, all kinds of stuff. So that is how you use Scrapebox to find out if a list of websites has an SSL certificate installed on them or not. Thanks for watching this Scrapebox video. For more Scrapebox videos, click the subscribe button down below and then click the bell. And then check out these other great Scrapebox videos.